Britannia, she revolutionized the transatlantic crossing. So she reduced uh, the travel time from six weeks down to 11 days. She was powered by four boilers and they were fired by coal and uh, they were driving two paddle wheels. A lot of people were very nervous about travelling on the ship made of wood, powered by coal which was shoveled into a furnace. Also the famous Cunard black top funnels were painted that way to disguise the soot and tar that leaked from the top of the iconic red funnels. Despite being steam power, she also carried a full set of sails and three fully rigged masts, just in case. Today on the Queen Mary 2 we have four diesel engines and we have two gas turbines and they are propelling four pods, two fixed and two is movable to steer the ship. The ship uh, produces way over 100,000 horsepower and we can power a small city, about a quarter of a million people, uh, the city of the size of Southampton. To fuel these engines, uh, Queen Mary 2 carries over 9,000 metric tons of fuel and that's probably one of the, the biggest amount of fuel carried by any ship today. On the Queen Mary 2 in the technical department we are 125 uh, officers and crew and we are working 24 hours a day and it's a big task to keep this ship running.